Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. Please check out the description box below for reading offerings. Yes, currently I'm still offering video readings and um, then the standard readings as well. Uh, email me for availability, angelsouls444 at gmail.com on the live video readings or visit my website, angelsouls444.com for the standard readings. Of course, check out my courses, any lives that I have going on. All of that will be down below. All right, what do we have? The Empress. Now I had done uh, sort of a, a weekly overview uh, reading as well. You will notice it because I'm wearing the same dress, okay? <laughs> but this came up in that reading as well. And the Empress, Archangel Gabriel, this is giving birth to something new. And this is a whole new existence and it starts with your perspective. There is a lot going on about how the Divine Feminine is treated we're realizing basically the stuff that really needed to be healed never got a chance to be healed. All right. So this is like, if you think of like, I don't know, <laughs> we have road work going on out here. So thinking of road work, if you don't do it properly, the cracks are going to come through again and pretty quickly. That's what's happening with the divine feminine. We just kind of try to paste over it a little bit and pretend like it's not there, painting over cracks in the wall and the cracks are going to come back through. That is what's happening right now. Okay. So this says time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. How this pertains to you in giving birth to a new situation, you know, let's say you're a man and you embody all the typical divine masculine traits because that's how you've been trained to be. Okay. And you're starting to break away from that. You're starting to see what's going on with divine feminine energy and that there isn't a proper blending of the two and that it's being diminished. Well, maybe that means that you're not allowed to have feelings, right? Because anybody who shows any sort of emotion is seen as weak. When in actuality, that's pretty, that's pretty strong to stand up and say, I'm feeling this, right? Because of the society that we live in. So you might start to embody a little bit more of this divine feminine energy, no matter, you know, what human form you have and saying, no, this is beautiful. This needs to be nurtured. This needs to be brought back, right? It needs to be integrated. And now, you know, your sacral chakra is starting to open up and this is where some emotions might've been kept. Okay. Can work with Raphael as well for the heart chakra and letting all that come on out to be processed. Um, but also your creativity, as it says here, your creative projects are going to start taking form because you're no longer afraid to express. You're no longer afraid to put something out there and say how you feel. And you know, there are going to be dark energies out there that are going to be swiping at you. The spiritual community is filled with dark energy. Yeah. For one, we get thrown in with all esoteric arts from every uh, energetic polarized and everything in between the whole spectrum of energies. There's that. But this is also, um, I really feel like people have infiltrated to throw others off because we were all doing so well there for a while. And then all of a sudden it became cheap. It became uh, shallow and, and people really got pulled in by that. So don't get lured into yet another spell by people who are supposed to be spiritual, who are supposed to be helping. Um, if you walk away from a reading still feeling hungry for, for more guidance because you're not trusting yourself, that's not, readings are supposed to be empowering. They're supposed to be laying things down that are food for thought. And so I would even dare say that a reading, if it's going to be effective, maybe won't hit your ego consciousness right away. It might be something that you have to ponder. You have to sit with it for a bit. You have to examine your emotions, your behaviors, what triggers you, you know, looking at that and then being able to take action from there. That should be the purpose of a reading, not to tell you what to do. All right. And certainly not to validate you and tell you how great you are. <laughs> right? So anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.